so I'm waking up late, got myself these chicken tortilla rolls, gonna munch on these bad boys, and I'll start working on it. All right, so here we go. Dinner time now. I got myself a little personal pizza, half plain. Now I got the other half with some turkey on it, turkey meat. And as you can see, I already ate two slices because I couldn't wait. Here we go. This is actually the second meal of the day. Full chicken breast sandwich. My first meal, I actually had an entire thing of cookies, but it was too early to snap and I was tired. So, here we go. It's going to be like a late lunch. Back to the fat challenge, got some more pizza. Can't go wrong. Got some green peppers, mushrooms, and some turkey. And buffalo chicken. And he's just still fat. Right, let's see what I want to eat. All right, so it's a late night. It's already about, what, 11.30. So I kind of went prepared this time. So I know I've been getting the late night munchies and shit. So I got these popums, baby. Two for six bucks of Wild Wild's. Can't beat it. You know, I'm just a fat guy. You know, fat big guy. Because that's what I am. Just a big boy now. Doing my thing. And a daily getting fat as hell. But, you know, you got to love life. Because it's what it's all about. You know, about being fat. Being loving yourself. And I love myself so much. That even if, you know, my significant other told me they loved me every day. But yet we're texting other people cheating on me. And I wouldn't even know. I would still love myself. But is that true for everybody? I don't think it is. So my word of advice would be. One. Don't believe shit that somebody tells you. Especially if it's a cheating relationship. And two. Love yourself. Get those popums. Put them in your mouth. Eat them all night. And just swallow that shit whole. Chicken breast for breakfast. Check it out. Alright so it's lunchtime. I got a nice Oreo peanut butter shake, and I got two whole meals in there, because you know they had a special going on, where it was buy one at full price, and they get the other one for a dollar, so thank you Mr. Eric Doherty for giving it to me, and then I got to say good congratulations over there to Miss Courtney eating her vegan meatball salad, because she had a great sale today, one of the best that I have seen in this industry, so she's been doing that work, and we're here getting fat, because that's what we do, and we smash it hard. And just to show you guys, I got that truffle butter sandwich over here, burger, with the nice truffle butter fries. Truffle mayo. Oh, truffle mayo. No truffle butter, I guess the butter separately, but you have to pay extra for that. Anyway, how people think this is going to be healthy or it's okay to eat this on a regular basis boggles my mind, but it's okay. We're getting fat. My first meal of the day, turkey chipotle, margarita pizza. Rice Krispie Treat, some water, Red Bull, or banana. Here we go. Snack time. Whole case of Chewy Chips Ahoy. All right, so it's like 12.05, so it technically means it's Friday. So I ate the other meal, and now I just found some apple pie. I'm going to start eating on before I eat my cookies. My mom called me fat again and said I'm a loser, but it's okay. She loves me dearly. She just doesn't want to show it on camera, so it's, it's understandable. But then tomorrow this beard comes off, so you get to see my fatness in my face and how chubby I am. And, you know, you guys all saw my breast today, this morning, so see what happens. Just keep eating away. Pie. So here we go, lunchtime now at work. You know, I have a nice job that I do, training people all day. I got a nice sandwich here at Esposito's, a nice chicken cutlet, fully loaded. Because that's how we go. You know, like it big, thick, and just. Alright, here we go. Belly. So, we're gonna do some quick recording. Just so everybody knows that I'm actually going on the scale and doing all this the way we say we're gonna do it. No editing, no nothing, no photoshopping. I don't need fucking fake abs and fake fat. Let's see where I'm at. Well, the depression's gonna get worse because, like I said, I've been losing inches off of everything. I've been gaining inches. My ass is actually smaller than my stomach, and that's been the first time it's ever happened since, like, third grade. 
Uh, so we'll just see what we got. Now we know the numbers. We'll be updating all the videos and everything soon. All right, so here we go. Just came home from work and got some Saharas from Brooklyn. With my client Frank made the stop today. Got me some nice gyro platter. A nice salad with that feta cheese and everything on top. Got my white sauce. It's going to be delicious. And then my snacks for later. My cookies, my pop-ums. Some more cookies and some ginger ale in my cup. So, as you can see, it's going down. This is going to be a feast. I can't wait. A little depressed about today. My numbers have been really shitty. So, it is what it is. I'm heavier than I expected. My body fat's a lot higher than I expected as well. So, emotionally, it's been a little distraught. But, we'll see. I got all the way to the end of the month. And then the cutting starts, you know, the working out, dieting, everything comes back to routine. And I'm going to show everybody how we're going to do it. So, there we go. Steak and egg on a bagel. I'm over here at Manhattan Bagel, eating it up, getting huge, getting jacked up on all this delicious food. So, as you guys all saw yesterday, the weight gain is serious. This whole thing has been serious. But now I think after you saw me weighing myself in, and you kind of saw what my body looked like, you see that the transformation is actually going down. So, one more month, and say goodbye to Mr. Beer today. That's he's going to leave, unfortunately. And now it's December. So, here we go, guys. We got some nice little chopped meat, my bread. I got a nice little ginger ale right there, some cookies I'll be eating right after. You know, here's a little quick snack, even though I had three bagels so far. You know, it's been one of those days tired, lethargic, just want to eat, keep those gains real, so, yeah. Say so we go again, you get a shit ton of stares from the people over here next to me, you get stares from the people at like my 11 o'clock, looking at me like I'm disgusting, and at the same time, they're eating the same fucking food, so, it's just funny, though, how people are, they don't like their bodies, they complain about it, but yet they use it as an excuse why they're depressed and they don't hate change. I'm depressed for shit too, and I'm doing this for a purpose. So when people give me excuses, those shits don't exist anymore. In my mind, it doesn't exist. But anyway, I'll save my spiel for another day. Just here I go. Probably the last one of the day before I eat some more ice cream. Right so here we go. It's late night. You know, it's about, what, 10, 30, 11 o'clock. Got my meals going. Got some Wendy's. Because, you know, healthy fact, right? It's grilled, it's fresh meat, it's fresh right off the grill, so it's got to be healthy. Absolutely not. Not one damn bit. But, I guess like most people say, if you can have a cheap meal, let it be Wendy's. So we'll see what this burger does as I'm eating it late at night. Still not working out. Weight gain is tremendous. The gut is getting huge. Depression fully kicking in. And every other drive I have is kind of just slowly deteriorating. But we'll see. We got one more month left. Got the numbers. Got the results. We'll be posting them hopefully at the end of this month or sometime in the middle to show you guys. But just keep waiting. Keep in store. And hopefully sooner than later we'll do the transformation back to being 30 in the morning. And I got hungry. So I went to Wawa's. Got myself some chips. I mean cookies. Not to say chip ahoy, but cookies work. Oh yeah, fat boy status it is. My waitress hooked it up. She gave me two entrees. I got the filet. I got the chicken parm. Look at that. Pure niceness right there. All right, so today's Fit the Fat Challenge. I'm at a wedding. It's going to be bad. This is going to be real bad. But we got some wine, some sodas, some desserts. Time to be eating and get fat.